scientific notation. It is true that mostly we use real numbers in standard form, but some numbers we deal with are extremely small numbers like mass of electron, and some numbers we deal with are extremely large numbers like mass of earth or speed of light, which are really hard to read and write. That's why we have scientific notation of numbers. Numbers which can be written in the form 2.3 times 10 raised to power 14 are called numbers written using scientific notation. Here this number has two portions. First portion of the number 2.3 involves a decimal and is called a decimal portion. The second portion of the number 10 raised to power 14 involves an exponent of 10 which is called exponent portion. Let's get started and convert some of the numbers given into scientific notation. Here the first number that we are going to deal with is 234.14. So solution 234.12. If that is the number and we want to write it in the scientific using scientific notation, the decimal should always be after the first non-zero digit, which is 2 in this case. So we have to move this decimal to the left by 2 units. Therefore, what we are going to do is 234.12 times 10 divided by 10. We know that if we multiply and divide a given number by the same number, it doesn't make any difference. So what happens if we actually divide 234.12 and we in fact divide it by 10 and leave that 10 as such, the effect would be that this division by 10 will cause the decimal to move toward left by one point or by one digit. So this will become 230 instead of this would become 23.412 times 10. The net effect is that you can see that with introduction of 1, 10 here, we are able to move decimal toward left by 1 decimal place. So if we further introduce it 1, 10 more, this would become 2.3412 times 10 and because we just moved decimal further left so there is one more 10. This is where we wanted the decimal to be because decimal in scientific notation must come always after the first non-zero digit which is 2 here. So this is equal to 2.3412 times 10 power 2. So the net result is that if we want to move this decimal toward left, we can introduce on the right side 10 power 1. And if we want by two digits, then we have to place there 10 power 2. And if we want this decimal to move three places toward left, then 10 power 3 will be multiplied. So just another example here to make it clear, if we had another number, let's say that we had 311.24 
and we wanted to write this in scientific notation. Now using the results which we have learned in the previous question here, we want this decimal to move toward left by two spaces. So 3.1124 and we will introduce 10 power 2 because we wanted to move this decimal two places toward left, we introduce 10 power 2 here. You can verify this by actual multiplication. But what happens if the number is too small? So if the number is too small, like here, if we are going to do this third question here, and in this question, it's 0.0000124. So the number here is 0 0.0000124. Now this is exactly opposite. First we were dealing with a very large number, but now we are dealing with a very small number. Here if this is the question, we would like this decimal point to go over here after 1, between 1 and 2, because 1 is the first non-zero digit. So we are going to move decimal toward right by how many units? By 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 units. Remember the rule we have learned before, if we wanted to move decimal toward left, we introduced 10 raised to power 1. But now if we want this decimal to move toward right, we are going to 0 0.0000124. And in fact, we can, let's do this over 10. Now, by the division we will keep this number but we will multiply the actual number on the in the numerator 0 0.0000124 times 10 over 10. Now this 10 in the numerator that causes the decimal to move toward left uh, toward right. So this would become 0 0.000124 over 10 power 1. We don't need to write 1. And here we will have 0 0.000124 times 10 power minus 1. So you see if we moved the decimal point toward right we had to introduce 10 power minus 1 and if we use the same result and we move it further right this would become 0 0.00124 times 10 power minus 2 because we moved it by one decimal place so 0 0.0124 times 10 power minus 3 and let's this time move by two decimal places at once so this would become 1.24 times 10 raised to power minus 5 because we wanted to move this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To start with, we wanted this decimal point to move toward right by 5 decimals. Therefore, we had to introduce 10 raised to power minus 5 with it. Therefore, the net result is if we want the decimal to move toward left, keep introducing 10 raised to power 1, 10 raised to power 2 for every decimal place. And if we want to the decimal to move toward right, 
keep introducing 10 raised to the power minus 1, 10 raised to the power minus 2, 10 raised to the power minus 3. We can do any question by using this principle. Let's convert speed of light. So, write in uh, scientific notation. Scientific notation. And that is three zero 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 okay, one group two group and well, let's say that this is the number we want to now where we want our decimal to be to be we want our decimal to come after the first non-zero digit which is three therefore and you know that the decimal is always at the end even we don't write it or it is not visible nobody writes it but decimal is always at the end if there is no other place which carries decimal so now this time we want this decimal to move toward left by one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so if we want that decimal to move toward left by 10 places, we are going to introduce 3 times 10 raised to power 10. And we can say 3.0 to make our point that we have moved the decimal from the end toward uh, right after 3. So this is the scientific notation. And sometimes we are required to convert from scientific notation to the standard form. So here is the question now. Our question would be convert convert the number the number in scientific notation in scientific notation to to standard form S standard form so this time our process is going to be exactly opposite so if we had a number let's say 3.0 time 10 raised to power 3. Let's say that this is the number that we want to. So every time we lower down, we then, if we want to convert it into standard form, we have to eliminate these exponents. So every time we eliminate one exponent, we are actually unwinding now. So this is 3, 0, but we are going to unwind by one exponent and this will make it 10 power 2 and if we further unwind it 3, 0, 0 times 10 raised to power 1 and if we unwind it completely this would become 3, 0, 0, 0 times 10 raised to power 0 which is equal to 1. Anything power 0 is always equal to 1. So this is equal to 3000. And similarly, if we had a number which we wanted to convert into a standard form, here let's say that we had uh, 2.3 10 power minus 4. So here, now we want to unwind negative numbers. For positive, you know that decimal was moving toward right. For negative numbers, it will just go the opposite direction. This would go, so 0.23 times 10 raised to power minus 3. So we unwind it by one decimal place and now 0 
2 3 times 10 raised to power minus 2 and here this would become 0 0.0023 times 10 raised to power minus 1 and this would be 0 0.00023 times 10 raised to power 0 which is 1 so here we can write 0 0.00023 3 times 1 we don't need to write but anyway the our answer would be 0 0.00023 that would be the number in standard form